very much for having me this morning. I um, I don't know if you noticed, I keep getting up and going back and checking on Breezy. Um, she um, always presents us with um, fun and um, fun is not the right word, but interesting puzzles. And the last couple of days, she's not been herself. And um, because she can't speak, we have to do all of this troubleshooting. Um, and so that's the process that we're in right now. And she's sleeping, but she's sleeping very um, lightly at this point. So um, if uh, you start hearing um, some screaming in the background, it's her telling me that she's awake. So I apologize in advance <laughs> for that. Um, so thank you very much for having me this morning. It um, was really um, um, nice to listen to what you guys were talking about um, and all of the wonderful things that you guys are doing in the community. It's very inspiring. And thank you all for doing that. Um, we've got a lot of community members um, who have stepped up and really done some good stuff. And you guys certainly are among that group. Um, it's good to see a lot of your faces. I don't get to see many of you very often right now um, because of the pandemic that has really um, changed <laughs> the way that we're all doing things. Um, and, um, you know, I think we've all, you know, most folks have been pretty inventive and innovative and we found ways to get things done, but certainly not as um, in the manner that I think we'd all like to. Um, so I just wanted to start um, by talking a little bit about some of the things we've done at the chamber um, in response to the pandemic, because as a lot of you know, several of your chamber members, thank you for that, um, and active with the chamber in, in various ways. Um, and as I'm sure a lot of you know, uh, you know, our chamber is very event heavy. You know, we do a lot of events in the community, um, the Virginia Wine and Craft Festival being sort of our um, largest and most impactful event from a tourism perspective. And um, having to cancel that last year, it's the chamber's largest fundraiser. Um, and from a tourism perspective for our community, um, it brings in a lot of people. Um, about 85% of the people who attend that event, and um, we get about 12,000 a year, are coming um, from outside of our community. And they're not coming from just you know Winchester. They're coming from DC, Maryland, Pennsylvania, uh, North Carolina, a lot of different places. Um, and so having to cancel that event you know, was difficult uh, for the chamber, but it was also difficult for our merchants downtown. Um, it was difficult for the people who rely on that those revenue streams. And, you know, we find ourselves again, which, you know, I don't think a lot of us thought we would still be where we are today, but we find ourselves again, probably faced with the reality that we're not going to be able to have that event in May, like we would normally. So we're looking at a second year, um, you know, the hope is, you know, that maybe we can push it a little further down the road and have it. But, you know, I think the reality of the situation is that we, we probably won't. So we find ourselves, you know, looking at creative ways again for fundraising and, you know, all of those things. Um, some of the things that we did in response to the pandemic, um, initially we started a Facebook page, um, Facebook group page. And I talked to you guys about this um, mid-year last year um, called Front Royal To Go. And that page was utilized very well by our local restaurants and a lot of our retail businesses. Um, and they were able to communicate and still are communicating with um, everyone um, locally and regionally about what services they're offering. You know, they're putting up their daily specials. If you're not connected with that group and you are connected on Facebook, I encourage you to definitely go over there and give that page a like um, because, you know, businesses are sharing what they're doing. They're, they're letting you know, you know, what their daily specials are, what their hours are, what their new products are. Um, people are giving reviews about, you know, their, uh, the great service they got, the food they got. So, so it's a really good place to um, find out stuff about um, our local businesses. Um, we started a coffee break check-in, um, 10 a.m. on Friday mornings. Um, it's a virtual event. Uh, and we started that um, in March. And it has been an absolute, um, just, it's, it's been a, it's been a delight to be a part of. It's been a delight to run. Um, we've really gained a, a, a nice 
core group of folks who come every Friday, and then we have people who pop in and out. Um, and it's an opportunity for business owners um, and community members to come in in a no stress environment and just have an open forum discussion about what's going on. So sometimes, you know, the topics are really heavy and we're talking about you know, folks who are facing, you know, the closure of their business or, you know, they're facing, um, you know, what do I do? How, you know, how can I, you know, make this work? You know, and sometimes we're talking about, you know, lighthearted fun stuff and, you know, promotions. And then a lot of times what we find ourselves talking about is um, our community and what's happening, you know, with, you know, our local elected officials and, you know, what's going on and, you know, why we find ourselves in some of the places that we do. So I would also encourage you guys to think about dropping in on us one Friday morning at 10 a.m. Uh, all the events for the next six months are up on the Facebook page so you can get the link to coffee break check-in um, and you uh, you don't need to RSVP, just click that link. We'd love to have you come in and join us. Um, uh, it's always nice to see new faces. And um, one of the other things that we did, we, um, we were blessed with the opportunity to assist the town and the county in CARES funding. Um, and that went a long way to help some of our businesses, um, you know, stay open, quite frankly. Uh, we had the opportunity first to work with the town and help them put together a program um, to offer grant funding to businesses, uh, you know, who met a certain criteria. Um, and we had a great group of volunteers who came together and created this program and then worked the program and stayed with me through the town process and then through the county process. So we worked on that um, from uh, the middle of June last year all the way through November. So that did a couple of things. Um, it helped us from a chamber perspective um, to continue to do what we like to do, which is help our local businesses um, keep things going and to contribute as much as we can to the community. Um, it helped us a little bit with funding and um, it helped a lot of businesses that maybe weren't eligible for whether it was PPP funds or idle loan funds and some of those other things that were out there. And um, believe it or not, there were a number of businesses that weren't eligible for, the, for those funding mechanisms. So this was another way um, to generate funds for, for businesses so that they could stay open. So that was... Um, you know, those were the things that we worked on and we were, um, we were, we were really, really fortunate to, to be able to do, to do that. And, you know, now we find ourselves like everybody else, um, looking at a landscape again, where we probably didn't think we would be, um, still, um, I, you know, I think, I think all of us, you know, when things really, you know, started in March thought, okay, well, you know, we're going to, we're going to be in this situation for a couple of months and then we're going to get out of it. And well, um, you know, here we are edging up on a year and, you know, trying to figure out, you know, what's next. Uh, words that I have, um, I have grown to, <laughs> I try not to use them, but I'm going to use them right now just because I'm sure all of you will understand words that I think once we are beyond the pandemic that I will take out of my vocabulary forever will be pivot and new normal. Those are, th those are, you know, th those are words that I just, I don't ever want to hear again, but we do all have to pivot and figure out, you know, what we're going to do and where we're going to go from here. And that's a difficult that's a difficult thing because, you know, everything is still kind of up in the air. And we, you know, I've been really encouraged because I still, every couple of days, um, have a meeting with someone who is either contemplating opening a business locally, or they are opening a business locally. So that hasn't stopped. And, um, 
you know, we, we're still, we're still getting new members, you know, things are still moving. So it's not, you know, it's not all bad news. It's not all dark and, you know, not, you know, uh, not to despair. I, you know, I don't know, um, you know, if you've seen, you know, I'm sure all of you have traveled Main Street um, recently. And, you know, there's a new bridal shop opening up on Main Street, the, the mead, the meadery has moved down to Main Street. There's, um, there's a nutrition store that's getting ready to open. You know, there are lots and lots of, you know, great things um, that are happening. And so sometimes um, it's hard to focus on those when all of this other, you know, really bad stuff is going on around us. But yeah, um, that's what we're trying to do is, is focus on the good. So some of the things that we're trying to do to help um, those businesses be successful moving beyond the pand pandemic and also um, our current members. Um, we are trying to form really strategic partnerships with folks that we know can help. Um, we have a really good, um, a really good relationship and rapport with um, SCORE, which is a great organization um, to help with businesses, uh, to some business counseling. Uh, they offer a um, just an incredible um, library of webinars and seminars and um, uh, resource materials, um, all free online to anybody, really. Um, you know, and so we're, we're trying to communicate that information out to everybody, as well as connect business owners and businesses that need counseling with a SCORE mentor. And uh, we're really fortunate to have one of the um, one of the regional directors live here in Front Royal and Warren County. So um, he joins us every Friday on Coffee Break Check-In so, and gives us an update. So another reason for you guys to join us at some point. Um, we are also working um, through some funding that we received from the CARES Act um, to bring in a business consultant that will work um, very limited hours, but will work out of the chamber office. And that person will be able to help folks um, whether it's crafting their business plan, um, look at um, funding opportunities, um, you know, and what might be best for them, whether it's, you know, needing a small business loan or, you know, finding grants and, and those sorts of things, as well as, um, you know, just, you know, being there to look at whatever the issue might be and helping that business navigate it. You know, the sad truth is, you know, there are folks who need to close their business and, there are legal ways to do that. It's not one of those things where you can just close it. So, um, you know, the, both the Small Business Development Center and SCORE have um, um, programs put together to help people do that too. So there's a myriad of, you know, there's a myriad of issues uh, there, um, you know, and we're hoping to be able to provide um, business owners um, with as much help in that regard as we can. Uh, we're also working on putting together a virtual town hall series. And that series is going to um, include updates from, you know, the, from town, uh, the town um, manager, town council, the county, ed, um, the public school system, uh, the Economic Development Authority. Uh, we're gonna have uh, one of the Valley Health uh, doctors is gonna come on and talk with us about, um, vaccinations, which, you know, of course, we're all talking about right now and um, getting, hopefully. Um, so we're excited about that and being able to disseminate that information. It's hard, um, you know, to get folks um, engaged because it's a lot, it's a lot um, different to act, to um, communicate in the way you, we're communicating currently right now uh, through the Zoom screen. Uh, and um, I am looking forward to the day where I can be in a room with a group of folks and I can connect in the way that we used to connect. It's really hard. It's, it's a difficult thing. Um, and so communicating these new offerings that we're trying to bring to the table and getting people to take advantage is a real challenge. Um, so, you know, we're, we're going to work really hard to get people to, um, you know, to, to join us and to, to get um, the information and um, educate folks so that they can then, of course, go out into the uh, community and um, spread the good news uh, because goodness knows we've got enough, um, you know, 
uh, stuff, bad news being spread. We need some good news being spread. Um, we're also um, serving on the uh, town and county's joint tourism advisory board. And, you know, tourism is an incredibly important um, aspect of our community. I know Robert and I have had numerous conversations about tourism and um, I'm excited that that group is getting back together. Um, there were some real bumps in the road and um, I am happy to report that their first meeting is this uh, February 8th, so Monday, February 8th, to really get, um, and I, I don't have a lot of information yet about what that means for the visitor center and all of those things, um, but hopefully after the 8th, we'll know some more and we can start sending that information out to everybody to let everybody know what the plan is moving forward um, for tourism in our community. Um, we're also, um, I'm happy to say, launching a new website. Um, it is up, but it is definitely not finished. Um, where I'm excited because it's going to uh, be one of those uh, um, one of those websites that's going to change on a regular basis, and we're going to be able to add, um, you know, a lot of um, a lot of things that we didn't have in our previous website. So we're going to be able to put up a lot of, you know, videos and um, blogs and, you know, I want to have guest bloggers. So if any of you are bloggers and you want, or you have a particular subject that you want to write about, you know, please, um, you know, let me know. I would be happy to have you be a part of that. Um, so, you know, those are the things that we're working on right now that are, you know, tangible things that I can tell you, hey, you know, come be a part of, you know, the other things that we're working on in the background is our strategic planning and, you know, how we move forward and what's, you know, what are things going to look like, you know, in six months, what are they going to look like in a year? That's hard to do right now, um, but we want to be prepared and we want to be ready to hit the ground running when we're all able to um, come together again and um, have events and those sorts of things. Um, I would love to hear, you know, any suggestions that you guys have, whether it's, you know, here um, right now or whether, it, you know, you shoot me an email later or hit me up on Facebook, whatever the case may be. Um, but I'd like to hear what your thoughts are on the community. I'd like to hear what your thoughts are on things that maybe we can do. And, um, you know, if you have any questions of me, I would certainly be willing to answer those as well. Thank you, Nikki. Hey, Are there any questions? I, I, I you'll need to unmute. Jen, Michael, I see, uh, Michael, I see your hand and then Jen, you are next. Hold on, Michael, we're not hearing you. You're muted, Mike. I'm mute. There you How are. about now? Yes, you're good you now. now. Thank you. Yes. Can you hear me now? Okay. Hey, uh, <laughs> first and foremost, I'm a recipient of the uh, CARES Act funding that Nikki and the good folk Herb and others down there really put a lot of effort into. And um, just just a huge shout out to Nikki and all that she does for our community. I'm eternally grateful and I'm very thankful for the friendship that I have with Nikki as well. Um, I'll just leave it at that. Thank you. Thank you, Michael. Same right back at you. <laughs> Jen, did you have a question? Yes. Hi, Nikki. I love you too. I love you too, Jen. <laughs> so, hey, I wanted to throw out a couple things that um, we do need to have a meeting, you and me, we to, do. to catch yes. up. But I just want to throw it out there. One thing that I'm kind of offering to the community and especially Main Street right now, um, Facebook Live. I don't know if you've talked to Downtown Market. But I am happy to bop along. And if you have some business owners, Arlene Link, reach out to me also that she'd like to be part of this. Okay. I'm happy to bop around and help people do their own Facebook Live, give them a little bit of my energy and excitement. Um, so Fridays, I will donate that time to the community and to you, um, chamber people. It's no skin off my back. If I'm doing live, I don't have to edit or anything like that. But then what I do commit to anybody um, is that I will share it. So I'll spread it around because that's the most important part. You know, once you make these videos, you got to share them as many places as you can. So 
that that's wonderful, Jen. And you know, I and I'm, you, you know, you know this um, probably even better than I do. There are a lot of folks out there who who that is just there's like a brick wall for them yeah. being able to do that. Hitting that, um, you know, hitting that Facebook Live or that video button is a really really hard thing for them to do. And um, having someone help them. Um, that is so, so valuable. So yeah, I can think of a couple of people right off the top of my head who, um, you know, could really benefit. Okay. From yeah. That. I'm, I'm happy to do that. And then I have, and then I have a really cool service project idea that I need to get myself organized to be able to share with my rotary club better. But, um, as you mentioned, there's a lot of negative out there with the small businesses. People get upset about rules for COVID, all of that kind of jazz. Um, how about if we figured out how to give small businesses reviews? Um, get on Google, get on all the review sites mm -hmm. that we could think of and give them some positive reviews. So I need to work on that. I don't know if it's a service project I'll be able to organize through Rotary, but um, I'll try. And if that doesn't work, I still want to follow through. And maybe with you, I can figure out a way to bring that to the community, and especially small businesses and restaurants that have gotten slammed. I personally actually got a lot of bad reviews because of my real estate company. Someone got upset about the rental business and mm -hmm. the only one that had a presence online was me. And yep. um, I got some really bad stuff on my reviews. So, mm -hmm. And anyway. that's, that's one of those things too, that um, folks, you know, folks struggle with uh, because, you know, to your point, Jen, you know, if somebody's having a bad day, um, you know, they take it out on a business and they don't understand the, you um, you know, the, the, the harm that they're doing to that business. And then it takes, you know, what, 10, 20 good reviews to outweigh that one bad review. So mm -hmm. yeah, I, I think that's a great, that, I think that's a great concept, Jen, and figuring out how to, you know, put that together would be great. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Other questions? And while people are thinking, uh, Nikki, I had one for some of the new offerings that you've been talking about. Yeah. Um, are those open to anyone, regardless of whether they're chamber members? I'm really glad you brought that up, Melanie. Thank you so much. So yeah. here's one of the things that's happened. Uh, so during during the pandemic, uh, we you know we have strived to be an open chamber for everybody. Mm -hmm. So what the things we're doing right now, um, a lot of the things we're saying, you know. You, you don't have to be a chamber member to participate. We're not closing the doors to that. Of course, we obviously would like to have folks be chamber members. Of course. Um, and at the end of the day, we know that that these things will pay dividends. You know, as you know, at moving forward. Mm -hmm. So one of the um, one of the we have a membership directory, of course, on our website that lists all of our members. Uh, one of the other things that we're doing um, that we started this um, back uh, back in November, we have a shop local page um, and that page is for everybody. And it is simply a listing of the person's business and then um, the various services they offer. So if they offer curbside, if they offer online shopping, if they offer personal shopping, you know, all of those things, um, just so that folks can, you know, jump on there real quick and know, you know, where they can get a gift or where they can get, you know, a, um, you know, a gift certificate for food, whatever the case may be. And we're going to continue that through this year. Um, and we're uh, revamping that because it, it had a holiday look to it, of course. Yeah. So we're revamping that right now to give it a, um, a look that will last throughout the year. Um, you know, and we're going to do some promotions with that, of course, for Valentine's Day, which is coming up. So great. Thank you. Um, I have a question. Yes, uh, sorry, Robert, I was going to say, I thought I saw you in unmute. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, going back to the uh, Wine and Craft Festival, if we're, you know, you guys are looking to cancel. Uh, maybe we could do like a virtual where you can do like special made wine glasses, packages or whatever, and people can pay for that. And then they can do their own wine or partner with some wineries and maybe just do a live feed with uh, maybe a local band or two. That's um, a great idea, Robert. I, I think I, you, I, I think I just put you on the committee. Oh, okay. <laughs> we can do like we. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no good deed goes on punished around That's here, buddy. Right. <laughs> That's right. And we can we can use M M Dub to deliver these baskets with the. Uh, you know, with the wine glasses and stuff and be like, I love it. wine festival one yeah. Warren County. Or whatever. I love that. Yeah. That's a, that's a, that's a great, that's a great idea, Robert. Definitely. No. We'll, end it, we'll, end the day Mill, we'll end the day at Hazard Mill Farm with a run of some new moonshine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> Gail's on here. <laughs> Great. Are there other questions? Thank you. Anybody else? All right. Well, again, thank you, Nikki. Thank it's you guys great so much. Get an update. Always great. And good to hear some of the great things that the chamber's doing during this crazy, you crazy have, time. <laughs> you guys have really brightened my morning. Thank you very much. Well, good. Thank you. We know, we know early morning is not everybody's cup of tea. So we appreciate you joining <laughs> us, especially under the circumstances this week where you were also dealing with, with yeah. illness. So thank you. <laughs> thank it. you. Now you may remember, we do not give our speakers gifts. What we do instead is donate a book to a local preschool or daycare. And Barbara Ecton is showing this week's book, one of my all-time favorites, Madeline by Ludwig Bemelmans. And yes. that one is going to, if I remember correctly, the Phoenix Project, right? Yes. Going to the Phoenix Project in your honor. So thank you thank again you so for speaking much. with us today. Thank really you. appreciate it. Um, I do need to do one minor housekeeping item right now. We've got somebody on screen who is just listed as iPhone. And um, so that Rob can work his magic for the uh, upcoming Spirit Award, I need to know who that is. So if you are listed on screen as iPhone, can you identify yourself, please? They're muted right now. And I'm asking to unmute. Hi. Hi. Who is with? I'm sorry, who is this? It's Amber. Amber, good morning. Yeah. Glad good to have morning. you with us. Amber. Yes, Amber. Wonderful. Hi. Thank you. We we recognize other people's hi. names, but we just needed to check. Great to have you with us this morning. Technology <laughs> isn't my strong suit, so I don't know why it doesn't say my name. We've all had to deal with technology. So we're just glad you're with us. That's great, thank you. We just wanted to make sure when, when the magic computer does its work that we don't leave anybody out. I'll see if Robert I can work Huffman on changing will gladly that. Help you. Yeah, Robert Hutman will gladly help you with all technology issues. <laughs> Robert Hutman, Age Haircut for Technology Education. Ooh, that's a good trade. <laughs> I like that kind of barter. Okay, great, thank you. All thank right. You. Our, our meeting for next week will be um, a video presentation uh, from the, the, let's see, let me get this correct, Kathy, Zone 3334 Leadership Institute. Correct. So following up on doing Rotary Dollars for um, the annual fund today, our video presentation next week will be uh, related to the Rotary Foundation. Is that correct? That's correct. The, it'll be the uh, Mike Webb who is the vice chair of the Rotary Foundation Board of Trustees. And this is the update that he gave the, uh, the Zone Institute, the summit uh, back in November of what, what the good things the foundation is able to accomplish. So it's, it's a really, a really inspiring talk. So it'd be good to hear it. Great, thank you very much. All right, Robert Grimm, have you yes. got the magic computer working. Yes, you can hear me, correct? Yes, we can. <laughs> okay, I will uh, calculate, uh, or I mean, shuffle the tickets. <laughs> shuffle, shuffle. All right, and then the winner is Gail. <laughs> Gail Hartman, all right. Hey, <laughs> Gail. All right, you, and as, al as always, our thanks to Ron and Kathy for um, helping us to continue the Spirit Award. The list is unfortunately getting way longer than I would like since we haven't been together, but rest assured, we are keeping the list going okay. all the way back to, what was that, August? Yeah. Um, so that when we are able to be together for the first time at whatever point that is, boy, are we gonna have fun. <laughs> I may need Michael to help me transport it. <laughs> yeah, could be, could I'm be. <laughs> The, the meeting is going to look like a liquor store. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> kind of. It an normally end. does. <laughs> All right. Do we have any other announcements for this morning before we do the four-way test? And I'll be perfectly honest and transparent. I've got a work Zoom call coming up in just a few minutes. So that's why I'm, I'm seeking to sort of get us out on time today. So my apologies for that. Um, any other announcements for the good of the group before we do the four-way test? Thank you, Nikki. 
Thanks, thank Nikki. you, Nikki. Thank you. And thank you, Debbie, for arranging. Oh, oh, and I, I'm sorry. I did think of one other thing that Guna specifically asked me to do that I was about to forget. Guna wasn't able to be here this morning on the call, but he did ask me to um, ask our members that if you have speaker or program ideas to please follow up with him. I think our calendar is pretty open for right now uh, with available dates. And just a reminder, we're all expected to come up with speakers uh, during the course of the year. I've got one that I just have to follow up on to try and get a date scheduled because I'm, I'm juggling three or four people's schedules for, for this individual. So anyway, if you've got a speaker or program idea, please reach out to Guna so we can get that slotted in. Um, again, we've got next week taken care of, but um, it sounds like we've got some pretty open opportunities beyond that. So, Debbie, I had thank something you in thanking, February. Yeah, thank you for thanking Nikki because that's what reminded me, even though I had writ written it down right here in front of me. All right, if you would please join me in the four way test. And again, I'm not bothering to throw up the slide. We know the four way test of the things we Thanks think, we think say, say, or do. do. First, First is, is the truth. truth. Second, Second is a fair to all concerned. Third, will build better friendships. And fourth, will be beneficial to all concerned. Thank you all. Have a good week. And we are adjourned.